to Project Accounting. So our topic for today is all about branches of accounting and users of financial information. So for this episode, you will be able to differentiate the branches of accounting, explain the types of services rendered in each of these branches, define external and internal users of financial information, identify the type of decisions made by each group of user, and describe the type of information needed by each group of user. Kung ang science, merong biology, chemistry, at physics, ang accounting, meron ding mga branches. Accounting is divided into several branches to serve the needs of different users of information. So tara, isa-isahin natin. Simula natin sa financial accounting. Financial accounting involves recording and classifying business transactions and preparing and presenting financial statements to be used by both internal and external users. Dito, yung mga financial statements na pini-prepare ay dapat mag-comply sa generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. Financial accounting is primarily concerned in processing historical data. Next naman is yung managerial or management accounting. Management accounting focuses on providing information for use by internal users. The objective of managerial accounting is to provide timely and relevant information for those internal users of accounting information such as the managers and employees in their decision-making needs. Dito, hindi kailangan mag-comply sa GAAP unlike financial accounting. Managerial accounting involves financial analysis, budgeting and forecasting, cost analysis, evaluation of business decisions, and similar areas. Next is yung government accounting. Government accounting includes the processes of analyzing, recording, classifying, summarizing, and communicating all transactions involving the receipt and disposition of government funds and property and interpreting the results thereof. Dito, sinusundan natin yung Government Accounting Manual or yung GAM for the national government while sa LGU naman, ginagamit natin yung Local Government Code. Sa auditing naman, it is divided into two, external and internal auditing. External auditing refers to the examination of financial statements by independent party with the purpose of expressing an opinion as to the fairness of presentation and compliance with GAAP. Usually, dito yung mga CPA na nagtatrabaho sa mga auditing firms. Next is internal auditing. Internal auditing focuses on evaluating the adequacy of a company's internal control structure by testing segregation of duties, policies and procedures, degrees of authorization, and other controls implemented by the management. Next is yung tax accounting. Tax accounting helps the clients to follow rules set by the tax authorities which is yung BIR or Bureau of Internal Revenue. It includes tax planning and preparation of tax returns. It also involves determination of tax and other taxes and tax advisory services such as ways to minimize taxes legally, evaluation of the consequences of tax decisions, and other tax-related matters. Next is yung cost accounting. Cost accounting refers to recording, presentation, and analysis of manufacturing costs. Cost accounting is very useful in manufacturing business since they have the most complicated costing process. Cost accountants also analyze actual costs versus budgets or standards to help determine future courses of action regarding the company's cost management. Next is yung accounting education. This branch of accounting deals with developing future accountants by creating relevant accounting curriculum. Accounting educators contribute to the development of the profession through their effective teaching, publications of their research, and influencing students to pursue careers in accounting. Last but not the least is yung accounting research. This focuses on the research for new knowledge on the effects of economic events on the process of summarizing, analyzing, verifying, and reporting standardized financial information and on the effects of reported information on economic events. The accounting research helps standard-setting bodies around the world to develop new standards that will address recent issues or trend in global business. Sa sobrang lawak ng accounting, meron pang ibang branches of accounting na nag emerge such as accounting information system, forensic accounting, and etc. Diba isa sa mga nature ng accounting ay it deals with financial information and transactions. So ang tanong, 
para kanino ba itong mga financial information na to? Sino-sino ba ang gumagamit na to? So, meron two broad categories ang users sa financial information, external and internal users. External users are individuals and organizations outside the company who want financial information about these companies. These users are not directly involved in managing and operating the business. This includes the following, investors, lenders, regulatory and tax authorities, customers, suppliers, and the public. While internal users are those individuals inside the company who plan, organize, and run the business. These users are directly involved in managing and operating the business. This includes the management, the owners, and the employees. So, para saan ba ang financial information na kailangan ng mga external users? Simulan natin sa investors. Investors may be current investors, minority stakeholder, potential future investors, etc. They use it for analyzing the feasibility of investing in a company. Investors want to make sure that they can earn a reasonable return on their investment before they commit any financial resources to a company. Next naman is yung lenders. Lenders are banks and non-banking financial companies which provide loans in the form of cash or credit. They use it for evaluation of short-term and long-term financial stability of a business that will help them to assess the creditworthiness. Kasi dito naka-base kung papautangin pa ba ni bank and non-banking financial companies si business. So next naman is yung regulatory and tax authorities such as SEC, BIR, DOLE, SSS, and LGU. They use it for determining the credibility of the tax returns filed on behalf of a company and to ensure that the company's disclosure of accounting information is in accordance with the rules and regulations set in order to protect the interest of the stakeholders who rely on such information in forming their decisions. Next naman is yung customers. Customers are buyers of goods or services and may exist at any stage of a business cycle. They may be producers, manufacturers, and retailers. They use it for assessing the financial position of its suppliers, which is essential to maintain a stable source of supply. Next naman is yung suppliers. Suppliers are the sellers of goods and services. They use it for inspecting the credibility of the customers by evaluating their repayment ability and setting up a credit limit and payment terms with their customers. And lastly, yung public. Public is also among the users of accounting information. They are keen to know the financial health of a business to get a fair idea of the firm's niche market, business environment, and economic atmosphere of the country. So, saan naman ginagamit ng mga internal users yung financial information? Management includes all junior and senior business managers. They use the information such as income or earnings for the period, sales, available cash, and production costs to analyze the organization's performance and position and take appropriate measures to improve the company results, sufficiency of cash to pay dividends to stockholders and pricing decision. Next naman is yung owners. Owners are the legal stakeholders of the business and the ultimate signing authority. They use the information such as profit or income for the period, resources or assets of the business, liabilities of the business to consider if they will have additional investment, expanding the business, borrowing funds to support any expansion plans. Lastly, yung employees. This includes full-time and part-time workers. They are essentially on the company's payroll. As an employee, they use the information such as profit for the period, salaries paid to employees for job security, and consider staying employed or look for other employment opportunities. So to summarize what we have learned today, branches of accounting include financial accounting, Management Accounting, Government Accounting, Auditing, Tax Accounting, Cost Accounting, Accounting Education, and Accounting Research. Internal users of accounting information are those who are involved in planning, organizing, and running the business. They need more detailed information on a timely basis in order to support their decisions. Examples of these internal users are managers, employees, and owners. The external users of accounting information are those individuals or organizations outside the company who are interested in its financial information. Examples of these external users are investors, lenders, customers, suppliers, tax and regulatory agencies, and the public.
So if you like this video or if this video helped you, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more episodes. Thank you. Thank you.